This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. The use of hip arthroscopy has dramatically increased over the last decade. During the surgery, two portals are made into the hip joint capsule. Then, an incision is made to connect them. This is called an interportal capsulotomy. Repair following the surgery is technically difficult and may not benefit the patient. Except in cases of hip instability, leaving the capsule unrepaired has become standard care. But some reports have raised doubts about this practice. A team of researchers from the United States and New Zealand sought to answer the question, after hip arthroscopy, is there a difference between repaired hip capsules and those left unrepaired? They examined MRI reports of 15 patients undergoing simultaneous bilateral arthroscopic surgery for femoroacetabular impingement, a condition where the head of the femur has an abnormal range of motion in the socket. The patients were randomly assigned to have one hip either repaired or left unrepaired. Then, the opposite procedure was done on the other hip. This eliminated any bias due to sex, age, surgical technique, or rehab protocol. The average length of the interportal capsulotomy was 23 millimeters. After the surgery, two blinded radiologists examined healing of the hip capsules based on MRI. Six weeks later, the group of three paired hip capsules showed slightly greater capsule healing. But by 24 weeks, there was no difference between the two groups, repaired or not. All of the remaining capsules had healed. Repair of small interportal capsulotomy sites did not appear to improve healing 24 weeks after surgery, compared to those left unrepaired in patients undergoing hip arthroscopy for femoroacetabular impingement. Since MRI allows non-invasive, qualitative, and quantitative evaluation of the hip capsule, these findings may lead to more consistent clinical decision-making regarding capsular repair after hip arthroscopy.